workouts are still a struggle for you and you're still finding it difficult to have a regular movement routine, well today let me show you a few more secrets that will help you bring your home workout game to a whole new level. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way Hi everybody, so today let me share with you a few more secrets that will help you with your home workout routines. For starters, Many of us have been going through this home workout journey since the time this whole lockdown and pandemic has began. Now, some of you may be wondering, what is a home workout? Well, technically, the home workouts that we have been discussing are ones where there's literally no equipment used, or if in case there are equipment that we will be using, they're very minimal. The chance to successfully be able to have a regular home workout routine is really up to you. I'll be sharing with you a few more secrets that will help you have a lot more success in terms of regularly getting into your home workout routines. One of the many obstacles that you will be getting into is really motivating yourself to get into any type of movement routine especially if you have to do it in the comfort of your own home. Now I get it, there's a lot of you who are like really chill and relaxed and sometimes a little bit lazy when you're just at home. Now one of the main things that can really help you out is being able to plot down a schedule for you within the week. Now you're probably wondering why is she telling me it's just a week I want to be able to work out for the rest of the month or maybe until this whole pandemic is done well for starters it's best for you to actually be able to go through a routine one step at a time we're doing this plotting of a week because you really want to be able to commit yourself to the movement routine that you promise to accomplish. Simple example, you can plot out maybe two to three days in your week that you will promise to do your movement routines. Being able to keep your promise of getting into your movement routine two to three times within that particular week is already a good step for you in your movement journey. Aside from plotting out specific days within your week to really go through with your movement routines, another helpful step for you to look into would be to find different types of activities for you to do. I've already discussed this a few times. It's always best to really look into varieties of activities and movements that you can get into. So imagine just doing one specific routine from day one to day two, day three. I mean, that would really be a bit boring and eventually when you do these routines so many days in specific weeks and even through months, that's going to really frustrate you in the end. Why? Because normally every person who gets into a movement routine, you will be able to adapt to that specific movement pattern or that specific exercise and program. And what happens eventually is the goals that you would like to reach would go stale and you would get into what we call a plateau. For you to be able to overcome that plateau, meaning being able to go above and beyond your specific goal, you would have to include so many different types of activities in your everyday movement routine. Why? This will enable your body to 
not easily adapt or basically you're trying to confuse your body during the whole movement program. This is important because overcoming this plateau in your movement journey can only be done if you put in variety of activities into your home routine. So let's say you plotted out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays into your weekly routine. It would be best to also plot out the types of activities that you will be doing for the week. So let's say Mondays will be your weight training days, Wednesdays will be your body weight exercise days, and maybe Fridays would be flexibility or yoga or other mobility exercises. In this way, your body will not be able to adapt as quickly as you want it to. And it still gets a little bit surprised with the different challenges that you put it into. There will be times when you do your home workout routines when you'll really get frustrated, especially if you do not have enough equipment with you at home. Now the best thing you can do really is to look into what is available in your own homes. If you have stairs, go on and work with that. If you have water bottles, you can go ahead and work on that too. I'll probably be doing a different vlog for sharing with you some of the different types of exercises that you can do with some of the simple things you can find at home. But ideally, yes, you have to really work with, with what's within your own homes to be able to continue your movement journey. Next on hand that I would like to share with you that I think not so many people look into when they talk about a home workout routine is what they eat. Ideally, since we're all at home and the kitchen is probably one of the most tempting places you can be able to go to while you're stuck at home, one of the best tips I can really give you is to take time to eat. And what I mean about that is I believe a lot of us who are stuck at home, who are probably working our asses off still with work from home, what mostly happens is we tend to multitask. So some of you, admit it or not, would probably be eating in front of your computers while you're working. For the many things that will help you out and will most likely cut your food intake, one that you're not even realizing you're doing, is to just really sit down, stop what you're doing, and eat. So let's say I'm doing my work from home, I'm in front of the computer, and it's time for lunch, go take that lunch break. You deserve that one hour lunch break, and then go back to work. Don't do the multitask where you are working and eating at the same time. Most of the time what happens is you eat more than you really should because you're too stressed with what you're doing for work. The same goes with those people who are just chilling and relaxing in front of their TV. If it's time for you guys to eat or have a snack, get out of that couch. Stand up from your chair, go eat first, finish that, and go back to whatever it is you're watching. Sometimes what happens with what we're eating is that we're not really able to know that we're overeating already because we're not realizing it. Why? We're in front of the TV, in front of the computer, there are so many distractions going on that we don't realize, hey, I've already eaten a whole pizza. Hey, I've already finished a whole bag of chips. Ideally, when you're at home, I wouldn't really expect any of you to veer away from the junk food, veer away from the ice cream, veer away from everything that you're not supposed to be eating. 
Why? Because you're at home. Some of you have families, kids, you know, your significant other who likes to eat a lot of sweet stuff. What's most important is being able to manage the amount of food that you take in each and every day. This will help you in your movement journey as well because you have sufficient amount of fuel in you to help you during all of your movement challenges. Another very important tip that I would like to share with you is being able to really commit to the movement journey that you would like to get yourself into. Now, how would you actually do that? There are some people who, as silly as it sounds, write down their own contract. So it's like taking yourself further into this movement journey and really promising yourself that you will be able to finish what you have started. So just imagine yourself like going to the gym and having your membership contract. So it's basically the same except you're doing this at home. I believe this would really be a helpful step, especially for most of you out there who are really serious in getting into a regular movement routine and going through a program and really finishing it from beginning to end. I hope that all of the tips that I've shared with you today were able to make you realize that you can do your own movement challenges at home and that these will really be successful as you want them to. For those of you who are new to my channel, please do click the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you can be able to know when the new videos are coming up. And please do click like, comment down below, and share this video to everyone who you know will be needing it for their own home workouts. Thank you again everyone for watching. And let me just remind you to never give up on your movement journeys because it's never too late to move.